Hello everybody. I'm going to show you how to get from OneNote to our secret garden. So first, I want to remind you that you're going to go to the PUSD student portal and you're going to log in as your child. And once you get there, you should see your child's name so that you know you're in the right spot. We are going to pick OneNote. And under OneNote, under Class Notebooks, you're going to see Frontier Kindergarten. And welcome, you are now in our secret kindergarten. So here we go. We're very excited that you're here with us and that we're going to get a chance to learn with you in a totally new and different way. So we're hoping that this is going to be something fun and exciting for you. Um, parents, our major goal in all of this is to be the best helpers we can be to help your child and not to overwhelm you. So please do what you can. If you can do lots, then great, do lots. If your child is not able to or it just doesn't work in your schedule, just do what you can to keep them engaged in learning during this time. So here is our welcome. And if you look over here, here are the tabs. These are all your main tabs. And these will, are the little pages that are inside the tab. So right now we're on the welcome tab. And here's the little welcome to kindergarten. And a little, I, a little lesson here that tells you how to use our collaboration space and the library and those things. I'm going to show you. So look over here and you'll see the collaboration space tab. This is a super fun place because this is um, the place that you can see just something from your specific teacher. And on there, you can type information back and forth and all of your friends in your class will get to see it. So for example, here's um, the welcome page and underneath is just, you can look at and see there's a little question for you just to get us started and in, in, in diving into this um, new form of learning. And so the question says, what do you like most about kindergarten? A really nice part of this program is that the children are able to interact and type right on the screen. So your child will write what's their favorite part of kindergarten. And then of course, you're definitely going to want them to sign their name. And they'll pop up and they'll load automatically and all your friends can read your thoughts and ideas here. So this is a really cool sharing part of our program. And the next part of our program that I want to draw your attention to is your child's name. Now this part is um, separate from anybody else. The only person that can see your child's stuff here is your child and your teacher. So this is kind of like their personal little cubby space where they can keep their stuff separate. So we're going to click on the child's name and you'll see here are a couple different weeks of lessons and ideas. So we're going to start by clicking on the March 30th lesson week. Once we click that tab, you'll see again, there will be several pages for you to choose from to look at here. So we're gonna start with the plan the plan gives you an overall view of what's happening that week so that you can kind of get an idea of the things that your child's going to be working on. For example, Monday, they're going to click the Foundations tab right here, and they're going to follow what is under the category for Monday. And then in between each one of these little lessons, our goal for your child is to give them a little break do a go noodle, get up, run around, play a game with your family, have a snack, get a drink, those kinds of things to keep themselves learning but still engaged and not overwhelmed. And then the next one would be the math tab. So you'd click on the math tab. And I'm going to just show you an example of how that might look. So again, you click on the tab for the category. And then this one says Monday and it has a little video for you to watch. And then it says, when you're done watching the video, you're going to go over here to your teacher tab and let them know how you would sort the objects. And that's all you have to do. 
Now, some of the days are just logging on to iReady for some time. Some of the days are little videos and I, um, things to respond to. Some days will have a short little video followed by a worksheet. This is a really exciting part of this program as well because this worksheet um, is editable. So that means that your child can write directly on top of this and it will save there as long as they don't erase it. It'll save there for your teacher to look at and your teacher will be able to see okay they're working really hard they've tried a couple of these oh wow they've done all of them or it will also give us a heads up that maybe your child might need a little bit more support in that area and we can then contact you um, individually and give you some ideas or some supports to help your child in that area and i will show you how you can draw right on top of this paper so take a look up here at the top gray banner and you'll see the word draw. Here I am at draw. So you're gonna click draw, and then it gives you a pencil, and you can pick a color. And if you have a touch screen, this probably will work a little bit easier than mine, but I see that the answer area is kind of small. So it's okay for your child to write their answer on here wherever it makes sense, even way over here if you need a bigger space for fingers. That's perfectly fine. We can see that you're trying and working and learning. And then over here again, ooh, Miss Ventola. Over here, there's an erase button. So, oops, Miss Ventola made a mistake. So I can just click right there and there it goes. So I can click and erase. Again, once your child's working on these, please just leave them there and then we can see what, what your child is working on and how they're doing. Now that might not be an option for you. It might not work for your child and that's okay. So at the bottom of every one of these pages, we've also included a PFD um, hard copy file. So you'll just click on it, download it, print it out. Your child can do paper, pencil. Now, if you want your child's teacher to see it and give you some feedback, then what you could do is you could um, take a screenshot or a snap a picture with your phone and email it to your teacher and that way she can see it and give you feedback or give you suggestions. And I want to show you one more thing for ELA. Um, some of the things on ELA will also have a QR code reader. Let me see, Monday. So you're going to get to read a book. Um, you're going to hear a read aloud of a really fun book. Let's let that load for a second. Hmm, it's not loading. I think my computer's tired. <laughs> it's been a long day. Looks like it's trying, I can see it thinking. Um, I don't wanna waste your time. So it will load on here and it might take a couple minutes depending on your computer. Um, and it will also have, some of the things will have a QR code reader. And if you're not familiar with those, they're just a little black square and you can hold up your phone and in the camera section and it will automatically link you to direct you to um, some questions or listening to the story again or some different activities and things. I will show you there's some over here as well. The last option that I want to share with you tonight is the optional tab. This tab again it says optional and it means it's optional. You don't have to do it but I know some of our learners are really eager and want to enrich and extend and sometimes parents will need a couple extra minutes to get some of their own work done and things. And these might be um, things that you can use for your child to help fill the time and learn and have fun. So this one is called a choice board. So it has some ideas of things. And as you do them, you go to your draw tab again and you can cross them out. They're real fun. Read in a tree, read to a stuffed animal, read a recipe, all kinds of fun things. There's some math ones as well. And my favorite ones are the moving ones. I love those. I can't wait to try to have a hula hoop contest at home. 
There's also a tab we called this Master Gardeners, and there will be some fun activities in here as well. Let's see if the QR code wanted to load here, and it did not. So you can click on the, the links and things, and it should be working just fine. And we have one here. Again, my computer, it did not look like this earlier. <laughs> my computer is very tired and I think it's a little overwhelmed. Um, so do what you can and hopefully, oh, here we go. I'm so glad one loaded quickly so that I can show you the QR code. This is what I was talking about for the QR code. So I think that's pretty cool and fun, interactive way. Again, your, kid, your child can write down on here, print them. Do what you can. Remember, this whole section is optional. It's just if you need a little more for your child to work on. And that ends our tutorial. I just want to close by saying that all of your teachers are missing you guys like crazy. And um, we're hoping that you're really excited to try a different way of learning. And again, please, parents, don't feel overwhelmed. Do what you can. We are totally in this together. We understand. Um, and so I hope this has, has been helpful. Thank you.